Hi, this is Eva, and today we're going to do Sweep One Rail versus Rail Revolve in our Quick Tip tutorial. What we've got here are some rail curves and some profile curves uh, to compare the difference in the result of using the Sweep One Rail and the result of doing the Rail Revolve. So, let's get started. We take our sweep one rail and uh, select the rail curve and the profile curve. The seam of the profile curve is not important and just press enter and there we go. Got a nice closed poly surface and we carry on with the next. You see that it's very even and the next one now we do the circle and last we'll do the oval. Very simple, you probably all have used this tool on many occasions. Um, but what is the difference with the Rail Revolve? Well, let's give it a shot. So with Rail Revolve it's the other way around. You have to take your profile curve first, then using the center point of your rail curve and the axis around which you want to revolve the profile curve, um, you get your result. So let's do it with a rectangle. Profile curve. And the rail curve, the center point. You can get the center point of your object using your object snap tools and selecting your center as your uh, snap point of your object. And you can already see a bit of a difference on two of our objects. Yep, you got it on the rectangle and the oval. So on the proportionally formed square and circle there's absolutely no difference but with the rectangle and the oval where we have a differing width versus a height or maybe even a, a differing scale within the, the the profile of the rail curve we see that it didn't perform quite so well uh, we can use the dimension tool to measure out the width and height of our frames We'll see that they are the same on the rectangle on the sweep one. And we'll go over to the rail revolve and we'll do a little dimension check up there too. So when you're planning something, this is something to know when you're going to model something so that you choose your tools correctly because there's generally three or four tools in Rhino at every point in time that could do the same thing when you're building surfaces, but they usually have small differences and this you'll come to get to know better as you work with each. Have a great day and hope you learned something new here.